Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Windows Update in Configuration Manager step by step. So there are some steps that you need to follow. First, we're going to do is create. We're going to sync software update. We want to make sure it's uh, it has the latest uh, update sync from Microsoft. And the second step is to create software update group. Third step is to create software update package. And the fourth step is to deploy it. So sync software updates, you know, Microsoft releases um, patches second Tuesday of each month. So my SSM configuration is configured to sync with Microsoft I think I set it to month uh, weekly let's take a look so we just right click on the you can just right click on sites oh the strong one uh, right click on sites and then click on the primary sites and go to configuration site component under software update point Look at sync schedule. I configure it to sync once a day, but in the real world, I think you can change it to seven days. That's by default. So I sync it to once a day. Uh, I'm just gonna put seven back to seven days. So under monitor, monitoring you want to go to software update point synchronization it's right under distribution settings let's uh let me let me go from the beginning here sorry so if you go to monitoring and under software under distributions status there's a software update synchronization options. You want to make sure the icon here is green and you have to look at the date. So just say Microsoft releases patch on Tuesday, second Tuesday of each month. You want to make sure, sure in the um, Tuesday afternoon, you want to have the, uh, the date here as Tuesday afternoon. So by doing that, you just go to to sync software update, you have to go into software software library, and then go to software updates, all software updates. You want to initiate the sync by right click, sync software updates group, click OK, click yes. It's gonna sync. So when it's finished, it's gonna take a while. Maybe I would say about thirty minutes or less. You want to make sure it's green. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create software update groups. You go to software library here and you go to all software updates. And you go to save search. Click on it and click on manage search for current node. So we're gonna choose update release in the last month. So if it's July, it should um, have all the July patches. So I'm gonna click okay. So these are all the software updates that releases in July. As you can see here, it's not been downloaded yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight everything. Just hit Control Alt, or you can just click the top one, hold down Shift key, and scroll down to the bottom. So you want to make sure that everything is highlighted. 
and then right click go to create software update group I'm gonna call this 2018 July July patches click create so my software update group has been created if you go to software update groups as you can see it has been created so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna download as you see here it's still not been downloaded yet so that's the third step here create software update package so you just right click go to download So you need to create a package. I call this 2018 July patches. The location, you need to give a, a network path. Here's my network path. I'm gonna create a folder called July patches. Tests. You can call whatever you want, uh, so I've called it the test. I just copy that. Then I'm, I go here, paste it, click next. It's going to ask for a distribution point. I'm going to uh, choose a distribution point. Click OK. Click next. That's fine. It's going to download from the internet. Click next. It's going to allow the English version. Click next. Click next. So it's going to take a while to download, download all those patches. I'm going to pause the recording in a little bit and then come back when it's finished. So. All right, look like it's 15%, no errors yet. So I'm gonna pause the recording again and come back later. All right guys, so we are at 95%, getting close to, um, to uh, complete. Let's look at the contents. Here's the um, all the files that has been downloaded. Let's see how big it is so far. So right now it's four gig, four point seven gig. All right, look like the download has been completed. It's all green. That means it's good. I'm going to close it out. Let's look at the contents, how big it is. Probably about 4.4 uh, gigabyte. Awesome. So what we're going to do next is we're going to deploy it. Let's go back to the console. I'm just going to refresh this. If you right click on it and you will see, and click on show members, you will see all the patches inside of this software update groups. So, and if you, the download section here should have say refresh i mean um, download it the reason it doesn't have download it's not changing to download it because some patches are obsolete or superseded what we're going to do is go back to show members 
we're going to delete the one with uh, with an X. That means it's superseded. So all the X's, gonna highlight them and remove or click edit member. We're gonna check the box. I mean, sorry, we're gonna uncheck the box so that way it's gonna remove. Let's refresh. There should be no more access. All right, go back to software edit groups. As you can see, it's changed to yes. What we're going to do next is we're going to deploy it. All we have to do is right click on it, go to deploy. I'm going to call this Windows Update 28. Uh, call you know what? I'm going to name it the same thing as a deployment package. So I'm call it 2018 July patches to all system we're going to choose collection choose all systems i'm sorry all desktop and server clients click next click accept required I'm going to set the the deadline to to the it's going to start I'm going to change it to the 5th. You know what? I'm just going to do it as soon as possible. Click next. So it's going to it's going to download as soon as I finish creating this deployment. It's going to start downloading the contents to the clients. Once the content has been downloaded, it's going to run the deployment. It's going to install the patch as soon as possible. So click next. You can change the user notifications. Display software in Software Center, all notification, or you just want it to display only when computer required restarts. I'm going to choose the top one for now deadline behavior so if you have any maintenance windows you want to ignore it you can check these two boxes I don't have any maintenance windows set in my collection so I'm gonna ignore that I mean uncheck that suppress reboot if you check the box that means it will not reboot on servers it will not reboot on workstations so in this case I'm not going to suppress anything. I'm just going to let it install and reboot the computers. Okay, that looks good. Click next. That's fine. You want to make sure you choose download software update from distribution point and install. You can check this box if you're having boundaries issues and you want the cont the clients to pull contents from other DPs in a different boundary groups. You can do that. Or if the computers are not able to find the contents and then it will download the contents from Microsoft, you can enable check this box. I'm not going to check this. Click next. So make sure you you deploy correctly to the right collections. 
sometimes you, you want to test the deployment and you want to deploy it to a test collection. This is your last option. I mean, your last chance. So you want to make sure, just say if you install it, if you deploy it to a test collection, you want to make sure the collection is correct. And you got to look at the deployment settings, schedule, user experience. Once you're happy with what you have here, you just click next. And it's going to create a deployment. Okay, it looks good. Green, I don't see any red, so that means it's perfect. I'm going to close it out. So if I go back to the software update groups and click on under the tab for deployment, I should see the deployment. And as you can see here, the it's going to deploy at 10 o'clock. The collection. You can right click and you, you can add the deadline. So the deadline is going to be at 10 o'clock. That's it, folks. That's how you deploy patches in SCCM. So like I mentioned, there's four steps. You need to sync the software update groups, create software update groups, create packages, I mean create package, and then deploy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and have a good day.